Bocelli, in one of his uh, very famous songs. And some of you young people may not know who Andre Bocelli is. Uh, he's a, a very famous uh, tenor, Italian, and he's blind. Um, probably more opera voice. You might have heard, heard of that, but yeah, very famous. Um, anyway, I hope your day's been going good. Uh, we're back at it again for Math 150, and we're at 8.4 now 8.4 so let's get at it bring up that camera again Help you to see that so we're still in radicals and uh, we're multiplying now uh, multiplying, and then of course you know what's going to happen after multiplying. The next one's likely dividing. Uh, okay, multiplying. Think uh, either distributive property, FOIL, if you've got two terms, times two terms. So going back to chapter five, this should look familiar. Uh, you're going to uh, FOIL this way. Well, you can do this way here. I'll give the 3x to 2x squared, and you get 6x cubed, of course. And 3x times negative x is negative 3x squared. These are not like terms, and so you're done. So in this chapter, it feels the same. So instead of uh, x, we got root x. So here we go. You're going to multiply. Just like you multiplied the 3 and the 2 here, you multiply the 3 and the 2 and get 6. x times x is x squared with the square root on it, and then throw that over there, you get minus 3x. Hey, this looks familiar that you can simplify, and square root of x squared is x. You're done because you can't push those together. They don't look the same, so then you're done. And then in a previous uh, chapter, when you FOIL, you go first, outer, Okay, so first right here, that's x times 2x, 2x cubed. Uh, that's 5x squared. Of course that is. Of course that is. Uh, minus 3 times 2x, minus 6x, and that's negative 15. And combine like terms, nope, you can't. So again, you're done. That's all there is to it. Uh, there might be some simplification, like this one had to be simplified a little bit more. But that's it. All right, let's do some examples. All right, uh, this one here's worked out for you. That's six root 18. Six root 18. Uh, oh, right there, six root 18. This over here. Okay, now it's uh, the three and the seven gets multiplied, not the six. So it's not gonna be root 42, it's gonna be three times seven is 21. 
So right there, 3 times 7 is 21, root 6. And then maybe you go like this in red. Should be this one next. Negative 4, root 3. Yep, negative 4, root 3. And then finally, <coughs> subtract 14. Can you combine like terms? No, you can't. You might be able to do a little extra work here, which I'm going to. It's 9 times 2. Pull the 9 out as a 3. Ultimately, it's 18 root 2. Oh, there it is right there. And then you got everything else gets brought down. So here you're done. Okay, let's try some other examples. You could go like this if you didn't like the dot. And what you do is everything on the outside gets multiplied, so that's 72. Everything on the inside also gets multiplied, that's 60. And don't think that's your answer until you've tried breaking 60 apart. And in this case, it's uh, 4 times 15. So now I've got 72. Uh, that comes out as a 2. And you're still left with 15. So what is that, 144? Root 15, if I haven't made a careless mistake. All right, this one here, I can write it down twice, which I will. <clears throat> That's 2 root 7, 2 root 7, uh, 4 root 49, 7 times 7 is 49, and that's 4 times 7, oh, 28 when I'm done. done. Square root of 49 is, 28, uh, is uh, 7, root 49, 7, ultimately 28, final answer. Sounds like the millionaire show. Final answer. Okay, this one here, I'm gonna uh, distribute. That's root 49 over here, minus root uh, 21. And that's seven, subtract root 21. There's nothing you can pull out here. Yep, done. I'll say, or if you wanted to write this first, it could look like negative root 21 and then plus seven. Um, so either version's okay, plus seven, come on. Went right over that, didn't I? So. Okay, this one here, uh, distribute. So that's root 11 with the y squared. Throw that over there. The two stays on the outside. And then you've got 11 times 11 is 121. Okay, the 11 stays, but square root of y squared is y. That's a perfect square. 121 is a perfect square. So minus 2 times 11. Finally, y root 11 subtract, what is that, 22, I guess. Okay, next page. Or flip it over. Uh, foil. That's root x squared. Throw it over there. So minus, what is that, 3 times x as a radican. And then underneath, uh, plus square root of 5x. And again, Minus the square root of 15. This could be simplified. Plain old x. Can't do anything with the 3 and the x or the 5 or the x and 15. Can't do anything with 15. So basically, uh, write everything down. You would think you'd like to push this together. You can't. The radicands are not the same. Both of them have to be the same number. And this one's a 3 and that one's a 5. So you can't do it. So... Subtract so root 15, and yeah, that mess right there is your answer right there. Okay, foil, uh, root nine. Uh, subtract positive times a negative, um, root 18, three times six. 
a plus, uh, hey, that's root 18 again, and subtract square root of 36. This right here is three. These two happen to go away, they're identically the same, so make them go away, and then subtract six. So it looks like our final answer is uh, negative three. These two, you have to be careful. Be careful. Be careful. I'm going to run down twice. And then foil. And then foil. Square root of four root of x squared. X squared. Outer terms. Outer terms. Let's see. Minus five root three x, and then again inner term minus five root three x. Now these you eventually be able to uh, combine. Those are like terms. And finally plus twenty five. Okay, square root of nine and the x squared is three x. Uh, these two right here. There are negative 10 of the square roots of 3x and plus 25. You can't push any of those together. Looks like the final result. And finally, this one is similar. Write it down twice. And then foil. Now, when I take the first two, notice the fives are on the outside. You're going to make that 25 on the outside with an x squared left underneath as the radicand. Throw that over there. Okay, the four and the five gets multiplied on the outside. So that's 20. The root x remains. There's another one. And four times four is 16. So uh, square root of x squared is x. This ultimately is uh, 25x. Uh, these are like terms. So plus uh, 40 root x and plus 16. Okay, pretty good examples, eight of them total um, for you to consider multiplying. Now, I thought I was saying that the next section was going to be dividing, but it looks like it stays in this section. So um, 8.4 continued. We're going to divide uh, by radicals. It gets a little quirky, so um, be careful. Now, the funny thing I've got down here is called a contract, and it just gets you to remember uh, that we don't want radicals left in the denominator. Um, it's a process, a procedure. That's all you're learning. Uh, later on in a trig class, my trig class, I let them keep the radicals down below because it's kind of like busy work for them. But for you, you're loading a process, a technique. So I'm going to show you that right now. First, I'm going to say, print your name. Um, John Doe. <laughs> now, it, again, it's your name right there. And then uh, you sign it, however way your signature is. So now you're going to promise to always leave your answers with no radicals in the denominator of the fraction. That's what you're going to do. Okay, let's give it a try and take a look. So some of the problems uh, like this has a radical down below, and you don't want that. So some of the problems, if you'd notice the numerator and denominator, they'll easily be divided into. So you can take two radicals, as long as the indexes are the same. That's a two and that's a two. And you can make one big radical, simplify that, and then that's your final answer. So some of them might look that way. This one here might look like square root. Okay, 100 divided by 5, which is the square root of 20. Uh, now, square root of 7, you can't do anything with 7, but 20, you can go farther. Remember that? 20 is a, what, a 4 and a 5? So this one, you can go farther and make it 2 root of 5. That's the best looking answer. Okay, this one, one big fat radical, put a 12, x cubed, divided by 3x, and notice 3 goes into 12 four times. x, x cubed, there's an x squared left here. 
root of four, x squared is plain old two x. Finally, this one, you wanna go big fat radical, uh, 75 x cubed divided by three x squared. Three into 75, 25. Okay, x cubed divided by x squared, there's plain old x left over. So in this case, the 25 does come out as a five, but the x remains underneath. And that would be the answer. All right, now, what if, see these were nice because uh, five goes into 100, right, right here. Uh, what if I looked at this and they both don't have a radical or three wouldn't go into whatever it was? What if? Uh, then what we're going to do is a technique called rationalizing the denominator. In this case, these are all monomials first. So what I'm going to do is if I had this problem to begin with, uh, then we want to simplify, get rid of the radical. You simply multiply top and bottom multiply top and bottom by itself. That's all I have to do, top and bottom by itself. Because what that will do is produce a nice perfect square, namely nine in this case. So square root of nine is three. And this, you push it together. Okay, five root three. Okay, so you get a mess in the numerator. The whole object was to get rid of the radical in the denominator and I accomplished that, that's it. Be careful, you can't make that reduce, can't do it. That's got a radical, that one doesn't. So that appears to be the last or the final answer. Okay, let's try a couple of these. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, times and times, radical seven, radical seven, multiply straight across. Finally, we go two root seven over seven, and that's it. Again, root 20, root 20, that's seven root 20, all over square root of 400, but that's 20. So seven root 20 over 20. Now this one's a little different, uh, a little extra you have to do. You see 20 into the radical versus seven. Seven, you can't do anything more, but 20, you could pull out a four. So you would say seven square root of four is two. Remember four times five, there's a five left here and there's a 20. And I noticed that the two and the 20 can be reduced now. Uh, that's 14 over uh, 20. Uh, this right here then is, uh, if you wanna do it this way, 14 root uh, five over 20, uh, but then two goes into 14 and 20. So finally, it looks like I'll have a seven root five over two goes into 20, 10 times. And finally, this one here, um, okay, this one here, you can go root three over uh, root 14 X is what you're gonna do. You see how these two fractions are separated or two numerator and denominator are separated? Separate this out into two pieces and then root, root. It's all about the denominator, cleaning this thing up. So you're just multiplying it by itself. So what do you think the denominator is gonna end up being? I uh, heard a couple of you say 14X. Ultimately, it will be 14X, just like here. What will this end up being ultimately? 20. You did it on purpose. Uh, oh, and then radical three times 14 is uh, what, 42? I think it's 40, that's not right. It is three times four, 12 to 42. Uh, yeah, 42, <laughs> 42X. And then that's your final answer. All right, the last problems that we're going to be looking at uh, are the denominators are have binomials in them. Uh, so this is a binomial right here, binomial. So the idea we're going to use, the only way that I know how to get rid of the radical is to multiply by what's called the conjugate. And uh, the conjugate, okay, here's the original. 
The conjugate, it, it looks the same. They look the same, one in the root seven, but they're opposite signs. Okay, this has got to be a negative, opposite signs. So Jeff, uh, what about if there was a negative right here? Yeah, that would have to be a positive. These have to be opposite signs. So one subtract uh, root seven. That's what I did down here. See, that's what I did down here. And then what you can do is distribute, distribute, which is what I did in the numerator. And then this is F-O-I-L, which gets you all that. And then combine my terms, which looks like these guys are gone. Looks like got one subtract 49, root 49, one subtract uh, seven. That's negative six. And reducing. So here's a different idea of reducing. If I had a three subtract three root seven to start over again, all over negative six, think about taking three divided by negative six and subtract three root seven divided by negative six. Separate the fractions out. If what I did up here was a little confusing, separate the fractions out and then reduce. So that's negative one half. And two negatives make a positive, that's positive a half or root seven on the top, and you get the same result as I have over there. Okay, these are the hard ones. And these are the hard ones. All right, I'll do a few of these. I think what I'll do is I'm going to do uh, uh, this one and this one. I'll do those two for you today. So I put parentheses around it like this. Uh, conjugate, con, ju, oh, ju, that's a u. Okay, these are conjugates. This would be three plus root two. Same thing, three plus root two. The conjugate of the denominator is what we want. Okay, now we foil. Foil, foil top and bottom. Okay, here we go, it's a little bit of a mess. Uh, three times, uh, two times three is six, two root two, three root five, and root 10. Down below, that's nine. Three times root two is plus three root two. That's negative three root two. And finally, negative root four. Uh, combine like terms, simplify. Nothing you can do in the numerator. So just write that down all over again. Now down below, we can do something. These two go away. Leaves me a nine subtract. And this one here is a root two. So subtract two. I said that wrong. Root four is two. So finally, it looks like the numerator stays the same. All divided by seven. And uh, that's all you can do, just like that. So what looked like a uh, fraction with the radical, it looks messier, but you got rid of the radical in the denominator and that was the whole goal. All right, this one here, be careful, do not cancel. No, 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 don't cancel. You do the conjugate. Except the um, sign is opposite here, plus, plus. And uh, now you foil. Or up here, you distribute. That's root nine, plus root 15. Okay, here it's uh, root nine plus root 15 minus root 15 and minus square root of 25. Uh, that's three. That's three again. These two 
disappear. And you get subtract five, don't cancel. Keep simplifying in the denominator. Three plus root 15, all over negative two. And that's the version of the answer. If you don't like the negative down below, you can shove it up in the front or give it to everything in the numerator. So maybe the back of the book might have this. That might be the book because they don't like the denominator having a negative. But uh, take a look at your multiple choice version of your answer and hopefully you can uh, tell which one. I mean, if the multiple choice did not have any negative in the denominator, then you know you're going to have to push the negative up above. Okay, I think I have finished 8.4 and I'm looking. Yes, I did. So go back to the um, stop sharing. Uh, that's your 8.4 for the day. And if you have any questions, uh, ask them during the study session that we have on uh, during the week uh, or shoot me an email. Okay, have a great day. Be good to yourself. Take care.